how to forage wild garlic without dying. It's wild garlic season again, everyone's going on and on about it. Let's just make enough pesto to make an actual real life Burj Khalifa from garlic pesto. Um, people love to pick this stuff, it is great, it's fantastic, it's got a lovely flavour, lovely smell. Very easy to recognise these leaves like this. Um, now, but you can pick the wrong thing and you can die. Well, probably not die, but you'll have a bit of a hurty time and let's try and avoid that, hurty being bad. So, what are the contenders? What are the things you might accidentally pick? Well, some people say this plant, cuckoo pint. For reference, this is a cuckoo pint or lords and ladies leaf. As you can see, it's a much different shape, it's much larger and you really don't want to eat this because it contains a lot of oxalic acid. And um, biting this will probably be like chewing a pane of glass best avoided and definitely don't wipe your ass with it no matter how tempted you may be the leaves are quite different they're much larger there's a much different big heart shaped leaves the only reason this is going to happen is you're being a greedy little bugger and you're taking handfuls and handfuls of the stuff and you're not start looking at what you're doing i always say pick in moderation and just pick them individually for goodness sake and um, that way you're not going to make that mistake so the contender of course is lily of the valley and that the leaves look a lot similar until the until the flowers come out they're almost identical and um, the difference is that um while garlic has one leaf on the stem and lily of the valley tends to have two and they have a reddish base on the leaf you definitely don't want to eat lily of the valley by accident it's jolly poisonous or make you feel sick apparently it can mess with your vision and you start seeing halos so if you've been eating wild garlic and you're walking around and suddenly everyone looks like some sort of angel out of a primary school nativity play um, then i think you've eaten the wrong thing um, it's funny though because lily of the valley is supposed to be associated with peace and tranquility and love and purity but it'll fuck you up however if you're not sure pick it up and give it a sniff Garlic smells like garlic. Lily of the Valley smells like some cheap 1980s shampoo. Now there are plenty of other things around here that I suppose you could possibly confuse it with. But you do need to know your leaves. There's ivy down here, there's ground ivy. I can see some dog's mercury, but you definitely don't want to eat that. Um, but it's very different. It's got these little pyramidal seeds. I've got a film about dog's mercury. If you look at my feed, look at my feed. Don't just wait for it to come up. There's cow parsley here. There's uh, all kinds of things really. But it's these, these sort of long leaves, these long straight leaves like this, and quite easy. And it's the smell, you know. You can smell this stuff from miles away. So, so what, do you, what can you do with it? Well, the whole plant's edible, but don't dig up the roots. You know what will happen. You dig up the roots, the foraging police will come around in their little brown van, drag you off into the woods um, and kick the shit out of you. What's the difference between wild garlic and regular garlic? It's white garlic, but it's wild. It's also known as bear garlic. Why is it called bear garlic? Is it because it walks on all fours? Is it because it catches flying salmon in waterfalls? Is it because it mauls Canadian vloggers to death? No, it's apparently bears like to come out of their hibernation and eat wild garlic and it gives them strength and fortitude. In fact, soldiers used to use this for fortitude. Soldiers would use it before battle. Use it before battle? Use it for what? Put it in their armpits, shove it up their bum? Um, but of course, it's also been linked to sexual potency. Maybe it gave them a good solid erection to charge into battle with. But I would have thought that's a little bit awkward, particularly if you're wearing armor or chain mail. Gonna be a little bit of chafing going on there. It doesn't have great big bulbs like garlic, it's got little tiny roots. I've um, got a fantastic, really sort of fragrant garlic flavour. It's got any medicinal uses? All sorts of things, from sore throats to blood circulation. Apparently it's been used in the treatment of cancer. My goodness, is there nothing it can't do. How about folklore? Well, guess what? It wards off evil, evil. Evil is scared of garlics. Vampires are scared of garlics. I don't know why vampires are scared of garlic, but I do know that they're incredibly vain. So it's probably just because they don't want to have bad breath. That being said, does blood give you bad breath? Probably. Has anyone ever witnessed a vampire eating a breath mint or chewing chewing gum? I certainly haven't. Was it sacred to the Druids? Well, of course it was, by merit of the fact that it's a plant and it exists. But also, I don't think Druids like vampires or evil spirits.